welcome to Nivy's Toy Story. Hi guys, it's Nivy. I hope you're doing very well and I'm doing good too. Did you watch my last Toy Story, which was Beauty and the Beast? Well, I hope you did. Do you know what Toy Story I'm going to tell you today? It is Why Advok Has a Long Sticky Tongue. Let's start. You see, there was a time where Advok didn't have a long sticky tongue. There was a bit of a problem, you know, because he couldn't eat. He couldn't put stuff on his mouth because he had a long nose and a tiny mouth and a big paws and there's loads of problems. And he started to get very hungry. So one day he went and saw a juicy mango and also corns. But those corns belong to the monkeys. And then Advok said, Oh, can I have some corns, please? I'm starting to get, uh, I'm trying to get hungry. Oh, please. Then the monkey said, Of course you can. Every animal needs to have something to eat. Have you ate anything this morning? He said, No, I haven't ate anything, even last night. Oh, it's been a dreadful week. Oh, wow. And then the monkey said, Oh, okay, you can have it. But he tried to eat it, but he keeps on dropping it, or he keeps on sniffing it and it gets stuck in his nose, and more. And he said, Oh, there's no use. How am I going to eat? Ugh. Ugh. And then the monkey said, Hmm, what you can do is, you know, your big fat claws, you can get it and then hold it really tight and then bite it. Oh, he tried to do it, but his paws were so big and his mouth was so tiny that he dropped it again. And then the monkey said, oh, poor Advok. Well, you can go to Elephant, he'll give you some mangoes and also you have a long nose and he has a long trunk so you can kind of curl it. Come on! And then Advok was like, good idea! So they met, they met Elephant and Elephant said, what's wrong Advok? I haven't seen you for a while. Advok said, oh, last night. I couldn't eat and I'm getting very hungry. I didn't eat anything this morning. Can you help me try to eat? I don't know what way I can do. So he said, of course I can. You know what I can do? So you see that juicy mango up on that tree? You get your long nose and cut it up like this and then put it in your mouth. That's simple as. And then he tried to do it, but it was too high. So Elephant, with his beautiful trunk, he lowered it down and Advak tried to curl it. He did curl it, but he didn't try to put it in his mouth. He was like, <coughs> And then Tortoise was with Elephant. So he said, try sniffing it, snuffling it. So he's like, Ow, it went to my nose. <laughs> Get it out. And then Hippo jumped on Advok's body and then it went out. Boop. They were so, so sorry for Advok. And then, so they all told the king, Lion. And Lion was like, oh, poor Advok. You can ask the night animals. They will help you. They're very good. And also, you can ask Mama Cheetah. She is a very good hunter. And do you know what you can? You can run and try to eat the predators and everything. And then he was like, yay! So he met Mama Cheetah and Mama Cheetah said, oh, all you have to do is just run as fast as you can and try to get an animal. And then he was so slow, he was slower than Tortoise that Mama Cheetah was so sad. He was, she was like, oh, really? Come on, Advok, you can do it quickly. 
Oh no, clumsy Adwok. You should ask the night animals. I don't know what to do with you. So they all went to the night animals and said, Oh, look, there's, there's Adwok. And do you know what happened? They were like, what? What's wrong with this poor Adwok? Then he said, Oh, um, he can't eat. We tried everything, everything we could do, but nothing worked. Can you do something, please? Then they said, yes, of course. So in the night, everybody slept except the night animals, which included owl, bat and more. And they were like, hmm, try some honey. I think the honey will actually like it. I think they'll say, it's fine. Poor Advoc didn't didn't have any food, so you can take honey. And that's the easiest way in Tinga Ting. So, you know what he done? He tried to put his tiny little tongue on the honey, but all of a sudden, it got stuck. Oh dear. They were like, oh no. Why? Why did you think about it? <gasps> and then they tried to pull and pull and pull but all the way just came longer and longer and longer until finally it got out and then it was so long it was more than two meters and then they were like oh no what can you do oh no then for a while owl got a very good idea that might work he was like oh try rolling it up and then he rolled it up very slowly and ta-da, he rolled it. And then he was like, let's see if I can unroll it. So he's like, keeps on going and going and going. And then Mole, he, she was like, oh, because you're very hungry, let's go and eat termites. Termites are underground. You got very big claws so try and dig and dig and dig so he digged with mole and finally he saw some very very tiny tunnels lots of tunnels he was like oh look at how many tunnels there are let me try and stick my new tongue in then he sticked his new tongue in and then he rolled it back in he was like Oh, termites are so yummy. Let me try another tunnel. Keep on doing it, doing, do it. That he loved it. And he got a good and a best friend called Mole. And that's why Advark has a long sticky tongue. The end. Did you like this crazy story? Well, I hope you did. If you like the story, please thumbs up, subscribe and comment below to tell me what you like about the story. This is Nivy and why Advark has a long sticky tongue signing out. Whoa.